So a lot of older tutorials will have um, you use copy stamp, but it's separated and it's been that way for a while. So in 19.5, you can't even use it for type stamp. There's volume stamp, but that's about it. So the way to do it is, so obviously you've got the instance attributes. Uh, if you don't know about those, go watch the other video. Um, and so if I copy all these, then I get this, right? So it's nine times the same fractal flame. Uh, different orient attribute, different p-scale, but this is an HDA, so I've got a seed parameter here that I can change, right? And with copy stamp, you could do, like, create a random index here and then feed it. And so we're going to do that with the new method, which is use it for each point loop and drag it across like this. And now nothing's changed, right? But in this block begin node, we can create this meta import node. And this holds uh, these detail attributes that we can use to create a random attribute per point and then feed that to the seed here. So I'm gonna drag, it, drag this across. And um, the, uh, the function we're gonna use is detail and you can see it requires a string, a string and a float. So the first string would be the path to your node, second would be the name of the attribute, and the float would be the index. So what we're going to do is here is type path to the node, which would be for each begin metadata. Then the name is iteration, and then the index is zero. So now it's going to cook. If I'm going to have something different here. Um, this is okay, but paths can be tricky, and so the best way to do this is to click here, add spare input, and in the spare input, you drag the node you want to link, so this one in this case. It's going to recook, and that's fine, and then replace the path by minus one. That way you don't have to type in the path, and this makes the loop compilable as well. You can't compile if you have a path here. Um, so obviously you you could wrap this in a rand function if you wanted to, right? And you can do everything else you want with this. And um, what you can also do is drop a your angle down, set it to run of a detail, then feed it that attribute. So we're going to do int iter it equals, so I can do detail one iteration. I get the iteration attribute from the metadata. And then I can do something like fat seed equals and then brand it's a plus seed like that. Then I have a slider here. And then in here, I'm just going to drop this wrangle here. And obviously this doesn't work anymore because we've changed the uh, attribute name to seed. And now I can play with this seed as well. And I like to do it this way because you get a lot more control and you don't have to write really, really long expressions in here. Um, so yeah, that's it. Cool.